If you've been wondering about the RMS Uncover Up Foundation, guess what? I'm, review I'm reviewing it for you guys today. So many of you guys have asked me to review this, so I decided to finally review it. So in today's video, you're going to see me apply it. You're going to see me zoom your way in. We're going to do a check-in video and all of that, and I'm going to let you know if this is approved by me with my oily, aging, mature skin, or if it's a pass. Let's get into the video. This is what I'm going to be reviewing. I did not, I was not able to get my shade in this, by the way. So the shade that I am going to be wearing today is number 22. And normally I wear 11.5, but this is all they had. It just seemed like my shade was just been out. I don't know why. So I have been testing this out several ways. Uh, so I have a lot to say about it because I've been testing it for a while. Um, I was not going to try this because I thought, by, when I saw this online, I thought this was going to be a more of like a moisturizing kind of like, like a tinted moisturizer is what I thought it was going to be like, you know. Um, it just says a cream foundation. It's a very thick cream foundation. Thicker than I thought it would be. I'm going to show you like, it's not what I thought it was going to be, okay. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, so when I applied this. I was applying it different ways. Number one, I just felt like it was hard to to blend out. I felt like it was just so thick. And it just didn't look nice on my skin. It just looked horrible on my skin. I have the concealer. You guys saw that review on the concealer. When I first got the concealer, I hated that. But I wasn't using it right. So I decided to to apply this the same way that I use a concealer and I actually like it and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to zoom you guys way in. You're going to see, I'm just going to do one side of my face, zoom you in, you know, like I always do. I'm just going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do check-in video. We're doing all of that. But I just find for me that if I use the beauty oil with it, it just works better. I don't like it without the beauty oil. And I'm going to be honest with you, I like the concealer better than this. So if, if you were to to get one, I would I would prefer. I mean, I would recommend getting the concealer. I know it's less, much less product, but like this is a lot of product, and this is a clean brand. How long is this gonna last? I don't know. But I feel like that's a lot of product. I feel like it's too much. You're not gonna use that much of this. You know what I mean? Now it does come with a scooper. I will use it. Well, this I'm gonna do it today. Actually, I'm gonna do it differently. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do it differently. You can use a scooper, but I'm not gonna use it that way today. Because it's messy. I mean, you can scoop it out, put it on your back of your hand, mix the oil. But I want to do it the way I did it with the concealer. Because I actually haven't done it that way. I've done it where I mixed it. But I'm going to show you. So, again, this is the Beauty Oil from RMS. And I love this. I mean, this is part of my... Let me wipe that off. This is part of my um, skincare routine. I use this. And I actually have a backup of it. I love this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I use it at nighttime, like I said, as part of my nighttime routine. Now, to apply this, I'm going to use this. This is the RMS brush. I, I shared this in the other video. I didn't like this brush. I didn't like it. But I feel like it works good with her products. I feel like it works good with the cream products because you can really get it in, especially if you have any large pores or whatever. Like, you can really get into every nook and cranny with this. The difference between this, though, is like the, the concealer... I can use all over my face, plus I can use it under my eyes and it conceals good. This doesn't. This doesn't. I feel like I feel like the coverage on that, in my opinion, is better than this to me. So there's that. But let's go ahead and put this on. I'm going to put one drop on the back of my hand. And honestly, I feel like that's all you need. And I like to just do it this way instead of dropping it on the brush so I can really get it in the bristles. And then I'm just going to dip my brush. I don't want to get too much. I can always, you can always add more. You don't want to go too much. And I'm just going to start and I'm going to kind of put this in different areas because I got, I grabbed a lot of product there. And then you just start swirling and just working it in your skin. Yeah, this color is a little dark for me. A little dark for me personally and kind of yellow but I feel like her I feel like her foundations do run a little bit on the yellowish side if you will I 
leave the light shades. So really take the time to blend. Once I use this oil, I just feel like it works better for me. And I know I say this every time. You shouldn't have to use this and that to make something work, but that's the only way this works for me. It just doesn't work as well just on its own. It just doesn't. And I'm just going to tell you, if I were to, if I were to repurchase something right now and I had to choose between the concealer and this, I definitely would, would recommend the concealer. Like I would repurchase that. So. Here's the side with the foundation and the side without. So it looks very glowy and skin-like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other. I'm just gonna grab some more. Just two, two little taps is probably all I need and hopefully I don't have too much. I just had like two little white marks on my face before I put this on. I have no idea what the hell that was. Must be from my sunscreen. It just, I thought it blended it well, but it must be that. That is weird because it has been sitting on my skin for a while. And I don't know, I just feel like it looks better on my face. I feel like when I just use this, I felt like it didn't do anything for my skin. It didn't make my skin look better. You know, foundation should make your skin look even nicer than it is, in my opinion. That's why we use it, right? And um, I didn't find that this did that. And you can see that I really take the time to blend. Make sure you're blending this out really good. I mean, you should do that with every foundation, but I find that I really... With this one especially, I really need to make sure I blend it good. And I don't know if I put this on my neck down here, but I'm going to work it down a little bit too. Now, one thing that I personally recommend that you do, and I normally don't say to do this when you have dry skin, but I really think you need to powder this because I don't think it really dries down enough. Like if I were to, to put something on top of this right now, I feel like it would disturb this for sure. So I feel like you do need to set it. I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to use and I'm going to set it really quickly. And then I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera. So I'm going to use this one. This isn't the Givenchy that I like. I don't like this color. It's the pastel, pastel mousse or something like that. It's kind of like a, I'll show you. It's kind of like this greenish color. I don't like it. I will not get it again. It's supposed to help with redness, but when I've had some redness, I've shown like when I wore foundations that you could still see a little bit of redness, I didn't find that this did crap, honestly. So, it's gonna, I just take a powder brush. I find that this works better. Um, I was using a puff for a little bit, but I, I felt like sometimes it would look too dry on my skin, and I have oily skin. So, I would say use a brush and just tap it on like that. I still have to do my concealer, by the way, as you can see, but I just wanted to show this. And then when you're done doing that, use the MAC Fix Plus because it's going to melt that powder and everything in. It's going to keep it in place. So then you can go ahead and put your blush and all that on. And it's not going to look like it's powdery or anything like that. So I will see you all in a little bit. So my makeup has actually been sitting on for a little bit now, but I'm going to zoom you in now that everything is on so you can take a look. And then I will be back here in probably in about six hours or so, and I will do an update with you guys and we'll take a look at it. So as you can see right now, it looks very glowy. Doesn't look matte even though I put all that powder on. That's the thing about this stuff is it does melt into your skin, but we'll be back. We're gonna take another look later, see how it wore throughout the day, and I'll see you in a little while. So it's been about five and a half hours, not quite six, but I'm gonna be going out. So I'm doing the check-in now. It is quite shiny. Hopefully my lipstick looks okay. I tried to touch that up really quickly as best that I could. Um. It looks really good, but it is very shiny. That's for sure. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can take a look at it. I do not see any creasing. I'm gonna look again after you look at it. But I didn't see any creasing, just very shiny. One of the reasons I feel like it is shiny 
is because I added the oil to it. It doesn't look bad, honestly. It doesn't look bad. Um, see a little bit, maybe a little cracking there. But here's the thing I'm going to tell you about it. And I mentioned this before. Other than that, I mean, it actually stayed good on my nose because I did not touch up my nose, honey. I've been wearing my readers and everything. It actually looks good. Um, yeah, it didn't settle on any lines there. Just there a little bit. But this one, I'm going to tell you. You have to be careful to make sure that's why I was blending it so much. You have to make sure that you, with any foundation, okay, you have to make sure you blend, blend, blend. But especially this one, I noticed this, the, like the cream products for me in this particular area, especially, I have to make sure I really, really blend what I, so I probably should have blended a little bit more, it looks like, or maybe I put too much there. It's not terrible, but it could look a little bit better there. Other than that, it's not creasing anywhere. I mean, it looks amazing. My skin looks amazing. It doesn't look greasy, but I will tell you, I don't, I don't think this is something I can wear in the summer. I will do another video when the weather gets, you can see, I'm wearing a sweatshirt today, okay? <laughs> it's like, mommy needs a sweatshirt on, okay? Um, I'm going to have to retest this because I do I really don't think it's going to work for me in the heat and humidity having oily skin. I don't. I probably would have to mess around and see if I have maybe a primer I could put under it that would help absorb some of the oil and things. Maybe I'd have to put even more powder on than I did kind of a thing. Maybe use a different powder. I don't know. Like I'd have to mess around with it. But this looks freaking good. It does. If I had to recommend either this one or the RMS concealer, I'm going to go for the concealer. I really will. And the reason I'm saying that is I feel like I actually used less product when I used that and I got better coverage. And I feel like it worked under my eyes. You'll, you'll see the whole review on it before this, but I feel like it concealed under my eyes too, so I didn't have to use something separate. I did get a little bit of creasing with it, just a little bit, but let me look at my concealer today. Yeah, I mean, the thing about the thing about the concealer, the RMS, is I feel like it looks so smooth under my eyes that even though I have a little bit of creasing, it, it looks really good. It really, really does. So I like this, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it at this point. I, I'm going to say I wouldn't repurchase it. I would, I'd rather have the concealer. I just feel like I just like, I like working with it better. Both of them, I have to use the oil, though. Both of the products I do. Otherwise, I, I hate the concealer. I shared that in the other video. I did not like the concealer, but it's that beauty oil that helped for me. And I'm not saying you have to go and buy that particular beauty oil. So you already have. If you have this and it's not working for you, try using a moisturizer with it or a serum, a hydrating serum with it and see if it will work for you. That's what works for me. I don't like to use this on its own. I mean... If you do use it on its own and it works great, please share it in the comments, please. Because um, that's really helpful just for me personally. I didn't like the way it looked on my skin. I just felt like when I added that drop of that beauty oil, I just felt like it just makes it melt into my skin more, which is the look that I like. I like this really glowy, healthy look that I have. I mean, it looks amazing. It not only looks amazing on camera, it looks amazing in real life. I'm just going to tell you. And I feel like the more you wear this, the longer you wear it, the better it looks. It really looks amazing. I, I just really like it. So I reviewed this and I did not like it. And then I saw Rosemary's review on the concealer and I tried it that way. And then after I did that, I thought, I wonder if it'll work with this. And it, it, it did. I got something on my finger, like makeup or something. Um, but it does. It does. So I, I definitely love the beauty oil. I think this is nice, but it looks nice, but I just feel like I could get that with the concealer. I feel like there's better coverage for me. I don't know. Out of the two, if I had to pick one, I'm just going to say the concealer over this, but this is a nice product. It's not terrible. I, I just hope that I'm going to go through it because it's a lot of product. That's what I like about the concealer too, is there's less product. And since it's a clean product, I know that I'm going to go through that quicker than I probably will this, especially since I have so many foundations. I don't know how long I'm going to get here without it before it goes bad kind of a thing 
So that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> I, I love how my skin looks. So I do recommend it if you're looking for something and you want to have a really nice glow. I definitely would recommend it, but I feel like it works better, in my opinion, if you use a beauty oil with it personally. So that is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope that this video was helpful and informative, especially if you've been on the fence about it. I know so many people have asked me to review this. That's why I finally decided to get it, even though it's not in the right shade. It doesn't look terrible on me, honestly. It doesn't look bad, but it's not really the color I was going to get, but it actually looks okay. So, um, But if you enjoyed this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would like like you know besides liking it if you enjoyed it and i hope that you did um please make sure you leave a comment and share this video because it helps to push them out and i can reach more people and i would greatly appreciate it and if you are new here i would love you to join please consider smashing that subscribe button it is free i share new videos every single week and for all of you that are my ogs and all my new subscribers thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch me today. It really, really means so much to me. I am so grateful to each and every one of you, and I will catch you all in my next video.